We're starting to see more and more autonomous systems in our daily lives. Quadcopters has become a very common uh, presence, be it toys, uh, mode of package delivery. And within a quadcopter, there's so many electronic components. We thought it would be a fantastic opportunity for us to showcase to students uh, various aspects of electrical and computer engineering. The course is called An Introduction to Autonomous Electronic Systems. First year engineering students take it. They interface with sensors and design control and filtering algorithms. After several redesigns, their custom-built quadcopter can find its own way around obstacles without any human intervention. Right, the IR sensor is now fully plugged in. Theoretically, it should work perfectly. But we've been out here like three times this week, a couple hours at a time, going run after run after run, and it's just not working. That's, that was kind of one of the biggest learning experiences, one of the largest challenges, was just figuring out how to actually deal with the real world conditions. We have seen various uh, successes among our student project teams. Just yesterday, we had quite a few uh, quadcopters that were successfully able to navigate the obstacle course that's right behind us. and I expect that most of them will be able to do so in the next couple of days. And some teams take their project in a unique direction. For example, teaching their quadcopter to respond to human voice commands. Go right. What we're really looking for in this class is that the students get involved in the design, build, and testing phase and that they're actually putting forth an effort. And for an Engineering 100 class, uh, the focus really is on the project and sort of the technical communications portion with that. And we try to give them some skills as far as communicating as a team so they can work well effectively. I really like learning how to work in teams in this class. I think it's, I feel like it's something I'm going to have to do a lot in the future. It was a good supportive environment. We all collaborated um, evenly, so it was a good work dynamic. And we also uh, teach them and give them skills to write for technical and non-technical audiences so they can get their great ideas out there to the public. I took this class because I have, a, I have an extreme interest in like autonomous vehicles, so I thought it would be really good to expand on that interest. If you want to understand how autonomous vehicles work and make them do new things, this course was built for you. We encourage all our freshman students to uh, give it a try. It's a lot of fun.